So when working with data in ArcGIS applications, there are some management recommendations that we can make that will make it easier to or keep data organized and easy to find. So it's pretty common when working with GIS data that you might have multiple file types and you actually do need all these file types. Uh, this is probably the most common that you see. There will be a DBF, a PRG, an SHP, and a CHX. Um, some of these other ones just have to do with the type of data it might be, um, but these, this is pretty common to see a lot of this information. So if you are working with a big project, you can get quite a lot of data pretty quickly. And so for following a folder scheme, it can make it a lot easier to find where your information is. So I'm just for uh, experiment sake, I've downloaded some information from the Minnesota Geospatial Commons. So we have a Minnesota Digital Elevation Model, a DEM, and we can actually see what it looks like. Here's a static image of it. And in their file format, they've provided a geo database. So this is going to be a collection of a lot of different data that all kind of has to do with this digital elevation model. And I've already downloaded it and it downloads as a zip file. So I'm going to go back to our folder here and I'm going to create a folder just for our Minnesota DEM. And after I've created that, I'm going to add the zip file to that folder because we want to keep a kind of a original copy of the data in case something happens to it. So in our Minnesota DEM folder, we're going to paste that zip file. Now, if you are in ArcGIS Pro, you might see that there is a folder for the Minnesota DEM. So we're going to just refresh this real quick. So, and we'll see our Minnesota DEM in here, but if we expand it, nothing shows up. And that's because uh, the Ar ArcGIS Pro can, and ArcGIS programs in general, can't read zip files. So what we'll have to do is extract it. And I find the easiest way to do this is just to double click on it. And we're just gonna select everything in the folder, copy it, and then just paste it and that will extract the files that we need in order to use for this project. So here's our geo database that we saw on the website. If we double click on that, here's a, all the file and the information that is in this geo database. But since we've extracted it, now we can actually read that in ArcGIS Pro. So I'm going to refresh our folder again, and this is actually what our geo database looks like. If we expand that, we can start to see some of our raster data. So the actual digital elevation model is right here. We're going to click that and drag it to visualize it on the map. And at this point, we can actually start working with the data. There are some other things that we can do to display the colors, but from a working standpoint, as you add more data to the folders, it's always good to add a new folder for it each time and kind of have a naming scheme so it's easier to track where the information is located.